my name is Sarah and I'm a parishioner at St. Peter the Apostle in Philadelphia, PA. Today we're going to reflect on the gospel from the second week of Lent. In this gospel, we listen to a description of something we're all familiar with, Jesus's transfiguration. And similar to many of us at times, Peter, John, and James are caught sleeping on the job as this miraculous occurrence is happening before them. I wonder if Peter, James, and John were in shock from what they had experienced. Were they so awestruck that they couldn't speak? Maybe they were unable to clearly verbalize what they had experienced, yet they clearly heard the words, this is my chosen son, listen to him. What is the significance of this mysterious appearance? Peter, James, and John were asleep when this transpired, but upon awakening, they discover the transfigure of, transfiguration of Jesus along with Moses and Elijah. How much of God's own glory do we miss because we're asleep spiritually? The unexamined life can keep us from being spiritually awake. And maybe we're just anxious about everyday things, work, relationships, the state of the world, money. Who knows what's keeping us from seeing or hearing what's clearly stated to us from the Lord? So this gospel begs the question, are you awake?